Hey, what's up you guys? Shardmas Prime here doing a little Marvel Legends update video. We have new photos of the Marvel Legends Black Widow figure. This is the Target exclusive. Pre-orders just went up today. I meant to get this video posted up earlier, you guys. I apologize. Forgive me. I know it's a little slow to get this posted, but hey, I recommend you subscribe and hit the like button anyway. Or wait till the end and then do those things. All right, so let's look at what comes with this figure first and foremost, because there are a lot of goodies over here. I think we have, aside from having a big gun with this figure, it does come with everything that I would like to see have come with a Black Widow figure. I really like these accessories. We get three interchangeable heads, two different smoky effects. Uh, I think that's freaking awesome that they have one set already attached to the, the gauntlets right there. It looks like you're able to swap them out, you know, so that's pretty cool. So she'll come with three heads and three sets of stingers. That's what it's looking like to me, right? Because those effects sticking out of the stingers, you know, are different from the ones that you have off to the side, which are for the guns, which is cool. So she comes with two guns, three sets of hands. That's awesome. I mean, dude, like, what is missing here aside from her having, like, a big rifle or something like that? Plus, of course, we have the added articulation at the lower diaphragm. One nitpick I could, or one thing that's standing out to me is I do feel like the neck looks a little on the long side. Uh, but, man, uh, for 30 bucks out the door, that's how much it cost me. I did pre-order this at Target. Came out to 30 bucks out the door. I feel like this looks like an SH figure arts figure, but missing toe articulation and maybe some other articulation points, but, um, and maybe some other larger accessories. So for, th for me, 30 bucks doesn't seem too bad at all. And they got her into some pretty cool poses over here. I feel like the, the marketing team or the people behind the photography, I know it's not Dwight, Ryan and Dan taking these photos, but you know, their photographers seem to be getting their figures into cooler poses. You know, some, someone got the message that the fans are posing the figures better than the actual people selling the product, you know? So I think that's good. You know, I'm happy to see that. Uh, I, I'm a little, conv it looks like we have butterfly joints in there. Let's see. It's been a pretty busy morning and I've been getting over a headache on top of it, but I do see butterfly joints there. So that's very cool. Uh, I like the wrinkles and everything on the lower half of the figure. It looks like we're seeing the same shriek body mold legs over here. If those may be shriek arms. It's kind of hard to tell uh in this photo right over here yeah you can see the upper torso looks pretty good i love how that lower torso joint or that lower ab crunch in there is really well hidden by the belt that's very convenient so yeah very cool poses for, for the figure and uh, i'm pretty excited about this one man it looks like the blessed the best the best blessed black widow figure ever it, it it's the ultimate Black Widow figure as far as I'm concerned from what I'm seeing right over here. I think it looks fantastic. So, yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that. And then, uh, yeah, we could, we could see right over here. This is a very cool looking head sculpt. This is the newest of the three, I think, because uh, at least uh, one of them, I think the other two were reused. And this is the new one, right? So, um, as you can see right here, uh, we have... This one looks like we've seen this one before, but it does look new. I'm seeing pieces of hair that I didn't notice before. So, yeah, that's a new head sculpt right there. Um, trying to take a look at the other ones really quick. And I feel like the other two are new also. Are all three of these head sculpts brand new? Oh, great. Yeah, I think they're all new, man. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. You know, it happens. I'm a human being. I could be wrong sometimes. But I have a feeling that all three of those head sculpts are brand new. So please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I hope, um, you know, that everything comes out as good as it looks with this figure. It's a pretty dope-ass looking figure. I'm very excited about it, man. Uh, I, I don't really have any complaints. The neck looks a little on the long side. It looks like there is a disc hinge in the neck too based off of this pose right here instead of the silly dumbbell joint which doesn't really function too well most of the time you know what i mean it, most of the time it, or it looks weird with odd gappage and stuff like that so i'm really happy to see this i want to know what you guys think let me know in the comments section below i'm excited about transformers rise of the beast right now more than anything to be honest i can't wait to catch it later tonight but anyway back to black widow let me know what you guys think 
And uh, yeah, uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. Hopefully I have another video coming up later this afternoon. If not, stay tuned uh, for another one coming up tomorrow. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, I'm Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.